Hey guys, we're now going to factorize uh, quadratic equations where the coefficient in front of x squared is bigger than 1. And you can use the box method which we used in the last question. Uh, however, there is a quicker way. So firstly, I just want to uh, write the general rule uh, ax squared plus bx plus c. That is the general formula for a quadratic equation. And so from the general formula, uh, comparing that to our question, we know that a is equal to 3, b is equal to 7, and c is equal to 4. Now the first thing I want you to do, I want you to do is find out uh, a times c. Find out what that number is. So a times c is three times four, which is twelve. Now I want you to think of two numbers that multiply together to give you a times c, but add together to give you B. So two terms, sorry, two terms which multiply together to give you AC, which is 12, and add together to give you B, which is 7. So obviously it's going to be uh, 3 times 4. 3 times 4 is 12, 3 plus 4 is 7. Now, once you have found the two terms, which are 3 and 4, what I'm going to do is separate the term in the middle, which is 7x. So I'll just write down the equation again. Uh, 3x squared plus 7x plus 4. What you're going to do is separate the term in the middle, which is 7x, into... 3x and 4x. So 3x squared plus 3x plus 4x plus 4. So what I've done is I have uh, just separated the 7x into two bits, 3x and 4x. Now that is allowed because 3x plus 4x is 7x anyway. So we're just writing this equation differently. Now, you would have noticed by writing it this way, I can factorize the first half of the equation as 3x bracket x plus 1. Because we can see that in both of these terms, 3 is a common factor and x is a common factor. So taking out the common factors, it'll be 3x bracket x plus 1. And then in the second half, we have 4 is a common factor. So taking out the 4, put it in front of the bracket. I then have x plus 1 inside the brackets. And now we're going to factorize this even further because you can see in both of these terms, we have x plus 1. So therefore, x plus 1 is a common factor. And taking that out, x plus 1, Taking that out and putting it in front of the brackets, we now have x plus 1 bracket, 3x plus 4 bracket. And that is your answer. Now this, if you expand this equation again, so check. If you expand this equation, x plus 1, 3x plus 4. So you draw the arrows. x times 3x is 3x squared, <clears throat> x times 4 is uh, plus 4x, 1 times 3x is 3x, 1 times 4 is 4. So let's simplify this, which makes it 3x squared plus uh, 7x plus 4, because 4 plus 3 is 7. And that is exactly the same as the question we had before. 3x squared plus 7x plus 4. So that means that we did it correctly. We have factorized it correctly because we've expanded it and checked 
that the answer is same as the question we had initially. I hope that didn't confuse you. Okay, so now I'm gonna make up another question for you guys to do. Okay, so try this one using the method that you just learnt and come back when you're done. Okay, now with this one, uh, I've got A is 12, B is 10, and C is 2. So A times C is 12 times 2, which is 24. Now I'm going to think of two numbers that multiply together to give you 24, but add together to give you 10. And uh, well, what's this little thing doing there? Uh, so uh, I can think of uh, 6 times 4 is 24 and 6 plus 4 is 10. So therefore I'm going to rewrite my term in the middle which is 10x and separate it into 6x and 4x. So 12x squared plus uh, 6x plus 4x plus 2. And let's just see what happens. So in the first two terms, 6 is definitely a common factor. Uh, x squared plus x, uh, so x is a common factor. So I have 6x bracket x plus 1. Right, so I factorize the first half. Now I'm going to factorize the second half. So uh, I can see uh, plus is there. Uh, 2 is a uh, common factor. So I have 2 bracket 2x plus 1. And uh, now you notice that in the brackets it doesn't match. That means we did something wrong in the factorization. So I can see the mistake right now. 6x times x does not equal 12x squared, so I missed a little 2 there. Okay, now we have the same thing in the brackets, which means the brackets are a common factor for both of these terms. So I'm going to take out the common factor, put the brackets in front. So the common factor multiplied by each term on the inside. So basically all I've done is I've written the terms on the front of the brackets uh, <clears throat> into the second bracket. Combine them and put them in the second bracket. That's all I've done. Okay, now let's check whether this is definitely the answer. So 2x plus 1, 6x plus 2. Let's check that it expands into our original question, which is 12x squared plus 10x plus 2. So I multiply the uh, terms out. 2x times 6x is 12x squared. 2x times 2 is 4x. 1 times 6x is 6x. 1 times 2 is 2. So that makes it 12x squared plus 10x plus 2. And that indeed is our question in the beginning. Now, if you wanted to be really uh, correct about this, uh, you probably would have noticed that the 6 and the 2 still have common factors to be taken out. So if you write it as uh, 6x plus 2 bracket 2x plus 1, you can actually take out the 2 as the common factor and put it in the front. So that will make it 2 bracket 3x plus 1. So the final answer is 2 bracket 3x plus 1 bracket 2x plus 1. Okay, hope this uh, tutorial has helped. See you next time.